Hi Simon, it's October 3rd, 2014 and today we're going to talk about how you feel and how you behave because some of the biggest trouble that you get into and some of the biggest trouble that anybody gets into in this world is not being able to separate those two things. So first, how you feel. You are allowed to feel however you want, period. End of sentence, end of paragraph, end of story. Now, let's talk about how you behave, because you are not allowed to behave however you want. Simon, there are countless benefits to living in the world with other people, but in exchange for those benefits, you have to agree to the social contract, which basically says that you take other people's feelings and best interests into account when you act. Now, sometimes that's easy. Uh, it's pretty much always okay to tell someone you like their shoes or to buy them a drink, because those things only ever make people happy. And it's pretty much never okay to hit somebody or call them a nasty name because those things only make people feel bad. But there's this whole gray area in the middle, and that part takes work. Uh, for example, is it okay for you to sing along to the radio when you're in the car with other people? Or is it okay to order Hawaiian pizza for the party you're having tonight? Some people like those things, some people won't like those things. And all you can do is use your best judgment. And it's my job as your dad and it's your mom's job as your mom to try to raise you to be the kind of person who is sensitive to other people's feelings. But the key is to keep those feelings that other people have in the front of your mind, not the back of your mind. And don't fall into what David Foster Wallace calls your default setting where your immediate needs are the most important thing. Okay, I want to show you something that I learned at a coach's clinic once. So do exactly what I tell you to do. Put your finger on your nose. Now put your finger on your ear. Put your finger on your nose. Put your finger on your ear. Put your finger on your nose. Put your finger on your ear. Put your finger on your nose. Now this is your chin, but that's probably where you put your finger even though I told you to put it on your nose. The reason for that is that the things you do matter a lot more than the things you say. Your actions in life are going to be the thing that people pay the most attention to. That's how they decide if they're going to hire you or marry you or sit with you at lunch. And if you decide that you're allowed to behave however you want because your behavior should always be a reflection of whatever you're feeling inside, then people are going to get tired of your act pretty quickly. Now, you matter too, Simon, and I hope other people take your feelings into account when they make decisions about how to act. But they won't always do that. Sometimes people feel crummy and they think that that gives them the right to treat other people crummy. And when they do that, you're going to feel tempted to behave selfishly in return. All I can tell you is that won't make you feel any better. In fact, when someone else's behavior or just some other uncontrollable thing has you feeling down and it's giving you negative feelings, negative feelings that you're allowed to have, remember, but that maybe you just don't want to have, the best thing you can do to counteract that negative energy is to make a conscious decision to do something positive. Ideally, do something positive for somebody else. Bad things will happen in the world, Simon, and they will make you feel bad. But you get to make the decision about whether those bad feelings turn into bad behavior. And I hope you have the self-control to make sure that they don't. Work hard. Be nice. I love you, Simon.